Hi there, it's Master Wong. I'm back again for another beautiful day. This one is quite interesting on it. Like when you're going uh, out and something to push you certainly and where you're supposed to remove your hand and control them. Now, this is another important push, pull, grab, okay? And this I think slam down the ground punching. This is a standard uh, self defense routine or certain thing that this happened in real life. It's like very common stuff that happening, okay, on this. So let's watch him through this and then let's see how we're gonna able to talk about this bit here. This basic movement here, I will go full you so you can understand in the basics. Some of you are asking me about the Tai Chi, the Wing Chun, and the KT3, the self-defense side. What is the difference and what does it do? So let me show you here. Now, you have to understand we do the basic stuff here to get you the idea because a lot, a lot of time you want to use it and normally a lot of people get push like this. Okay, just basic stuff like this to helping you to identify uh, some basic movement. I mean basic. If you like some more stuff like that, comment below here, then I will go through a little bit more complicated for you. But because of uh, too complicated, you won't get it, so I do the basic. So when you're pushing like this, I want to line the hand where I'm here, I want to attack. Okay, when I attack here, I want to attack here. So that can be the palm. Now why I'm using a lot of time, we're using the palm a lot, is because when you're attacking somebody up anywhere in the line like this, they're not breaking your hands that easily, okay? So that way, uh, you don't have problem because you need your hand. And some of you out there, you know you love this kind of thing, you need your hand in using it. And some of you at home on your own, lonely, and put the video on and watching it, and you like it too much, you're using your hand. You know some of you 30 people out there? So I like to keep your hand option. So soon you come, you point like this, this hand, don't bring it back here. If you bring it back, you will see it, the hand coming in, okay? So this movement has to be direct. Now sometimes this movement here can be direct, see? Can be direct into the chin like this, okay? Cool, because this kind of movement, when you get close, you got to get used to the hand when it came in. This is where it's important when you practice a lot of movement onto the hand, okay? Like especially when you practice onto the Wing Chun side, your hand, soon you open your control. You're moving your hand to control. While you control, you're hitting. Because while you're controlling the person, hit, hit, it's become so much easier for you to work with a person. Another thing to understand is where you're moving, you slam them. While you slam them or move them, you've got so much power from the waist when you practice the basic as you are training onto our program here, onto the seven day challenge, you can see the idea. There's a lot of basic you need to practice to get your body in line. When your body in line, everything else easy, okay? Now if you watch for this and you haven't subscribed to me yet make sure you're whacking the subscribe button right now so I can update the training for you so you can able to learn together another thing as well when you're watching for this movement here if you got any comment about this comment below here and I will be here to answer the question let's watch a little bit more of this okay? and then straight away on here you see I control the arm all the time okay because I want to break it later if I wanted to because the idea is I want to keep them I don't want to keep this arm back. If you pull it back, that's a problem. You see? So if I'm here, if you pull it back, I'm, I'm, I'm in line here to control him. Then I'm attacking him, attacking him, and then I control this arm here. Because in the Wing Chun, you see a lot of time when you're attacking the arm, it comes down to this position. Keep it tight, keep it in line to protect your organ. Because, you know, sometimes you love your organ so much, you don't want people to take some of your kidney away to sell to someone. Or sometimes they want to punch you so hard that your liver coming out, that means it's a bad news. So you don't want to do that, so you want to protect that. So the idea of this push coming in is line. Okay, now this line here coming in and this line coming in here on that movement. When you're in this line here, it's like broken some rib. Make sure he messed up his body and broken some rib. And now some of you like Chinese food a lot. And you go out, you always like to bind the spare rib. 
Why? Because you love to eat rib. So that means it just reminds you when you're in this situation, it's no more rib for him. And at the moment in eBay, they haven't got no body part. So that's the problem. Okay, so that's the basic Wing Chun. Movement here. Bam, bam. Yeah, and boom, to his face. Or sometimes I go like boom, boom to his face here. And then cross his face and control the hand. The same. So you can see the idea. Movement of it is very simple. Now, a lot of time when you are filming or when you're doing this kind of lesson onto the YouTube, Facebook, or onto the uh, internet, a lot of time it's a 2D dimension. Okay, so the person doing the movement and then you're going to show the idea. But the most important thing you need to understand is the basic fundamental, the basic movement, where the hand is supposed to be when you do the movement, where the hand is. The hand should be in the position, okay, where they are, and then you control. When you control them, where you're moving this hand and control the person because you want to bring the person outside of your uh, of this area because if it brings them close to you and facing you because they've got two weapons they've got two weapons they've got another two weapons a four piece of weapon if you upset the body okay it's got to be difficult for them to try to attack you but if you don't upset your body and control them and their body in front of you that can be a nightmare because they can launch the attack on you, okay? But they upset the body, then they're launching attack it this way. But you have the, all the beautiful movement here. You can shove the knee into them. You can shove the elbow, elbow in there. You can grab them. You can do whatever you want to do with a person. So this is very important to understand about control the body, okay? Let's have a watch a bit more on this. You got hurt. Now I move. Now if you try to come in, I move. Because he come, I move. Now he move, I move. Okay? Because I'm be here. He move, I move. And that is what this is all about. It's about fight move and people move. Because when people move, all the movement you are using is very interesting. Why? Because Tai Chi using the millennium. Ma not millennium. The momentum. momentum, the momentum of the body, of the force, of the technique to make sure they move. So what I mean by that? Now if I come in, I come in here. If he move, I move. See, he move now because that force of him come, I will make it move now. So Tai Chi will feel this. When you do Tai Chi, you feel it. When you feel it, then you make use of that energy and give it to him. And that's what Tai Chi is unique about. And second thing as well about this line, your heart, okay? Now, when he come, I move. When he move, you see, he not tensing. So we're not tensing, I break him. Because he's not tensing. Because he concentrate on moving, he not concentrate on this. You see, hear that? That means it's broken. Now, when he try to re restore by pulling back, I pull in. Now I respond to him by pulling and I'm moving. He only can concentrate on one, one thing at a time. He cannot concentrate on many, many things because your body can't. So you training on this Tai Chi side, practice like I mentioned before like this, you're not just there waving your hand, okay? You're there feeling something. Ah, what are you feeling out there, man? It's nothing that to feel with it. <laughs> Not for most. No, it's nothing to feel. So you feel. Yeah, you imagine something that you feel. And then you find it, your body won't use it. Okay? So that's what Tai Chi is. Very, very interesting. Okay? And that's what is it? To helping you. So let me recap again so you can get in everything to understand each one. Because if you're not getting recap, you don't understand. So the Wing Chun side, when the pushing comes along, you are attacking, you are attacking. Okay, now you move here, he pushing again. Now you're coming in to the KT3. Drop to the neck, knee, headbutt him, elbow, elbow, headbutt, knee. Okay, now he move back and he push you again. Okay, now you're coming in for the Tai Chi, body coming here, move them across a little arm break here, wrapping down. Okay, so that is the thing. When you go full and practice, a lot of time you need to spend some time to practice with him to be able to learn the basic from them. When you got the basic of the movement, then it's up to you how you manipulate the situation, okay? If the situation is very different, if a person coming in to attack you, it's very different. Is it intense they're attacking you? Is it 
heavy? Is it very fish, uh, vicious? You know, like like really pushing you or really grapple with you? It's very very different each time they're attacking you. So you need to identify and know exactly what is it that intent. That's why the important thing to learn to understand is about know yourself, know your enemy, who you're dealing with, and know your ability, so you can able to launch an attack with them. Bam to the body here. Bam. If you grab them in close like this, okay, and the arm underneath the arm boom, down here, rib case broken, okay, zam them in like this, the elbows broken, it's just the knee coming in as well to make a good measure. He cannot move, and then grab the leg like this and breaking the goddamn leg and for some time. It's really all up to you. You need to learn to understanding about this and know yourself a bit more, okay? Let's watch a bit more of this. So that's what Tai Chi is. Very, very interesting, okay? And that's what is it to helping you. So let me recap again so you can get in everything to understand each one. Because if you're not getting recap, you don't understand. So the Wing Chun side, when the pushing come along, you are attacking, you are attacking, okay? Now you move here, he pushing again. Now you're coming in to the KT3. Drop to the neck, knee, headbutt him, elbow, elbow, headbutt, knee. Okay? Now he move back and he push you again. Okay? Now you're coming in for the Tai Chi. Body coming here, move them across a little arm break here, drop him down here, and then move him around. That's it. That's what it's all about as you go through. And this is why I provide a lot of this training uh, onto the course. Because a lot of time, good to learn to watch. Watch it very good because you're absorbing, you're learning, okay? But can you simulate them, okay? Simulate the movement as you're watching. Oh yeah, this movement is good. Bam, bam, coming in. Boom, elbow coming, palm coming here. Boom, hand coming, boom, moving out of, on the position. And then knee, knee straight away coming in. Where's the knee, palm coming here? And then you can able to deal with them. So you can simulate the movement. To simulate the movement, you need to practice the basic fundamental training. If your fundamental training is you don't practice, you cannot simulate any kind of movement because your body don't talk to you and you can't move it. So this is important. That's why we have uh, basic training for you the seventh day so you can practice the basic. It's free for you to learn to practice and to get an idea and also got full training program for you as well to learn the, the Wing Chun side to helping you because all this is based around the Wing Chun basic movement to helping to make the movement work for you okay and this is important for more information on that go to our website masterwong.tv and they got all the bits and pieces that you need on there otherwise practice and learning and keep training that's the most important thing watching is one thing keep training any comment comment underneath this video i will be here to answer some of your questions and some of you out there watching and learning and haven't surprised it bah, 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 bah. make sure to surprise to me before your enemy do otherwise your enemy gonna hard hit boom come in hit your body push out of the way and the ribcage coming in the ribcage coming in and you go sit there you got no more ribcage left that will be the nightmare for you today then they put a knee into you then they put a knee into you it's going to be the end of you. So, yes, make sure to hit the bell and subscribe to me. I will update all the lessons for you coming up. And I will see you on the next lesson.